Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group B Round 2 match between Arzawain and Frankie129. Um, they both have, well, Arzawain has a very unspectacularly painted Imperial Nobility team, which kind of clashes with the unpainted Undead team. So let's make them red versus blue so we can see what's happening much better. Uh, six guard, I quite like that. A blodger I like, a leader I like. I don't really like the tackle, I'd much rather have a blodger, but uh, I pretty much agree with this for the Imperial Nobility. For Undead, we've got a couple of guard mummies. We've got a, we're benching a unskilled ghoul. Two block, a wrestle, and a tackle white, and an unskilled white. So interesting, interesting things here. No apple for ours away. 13 players, though. I think that's what you have to take with that. Nobility start. Um, I can tell you that they are both Spanish and Arzawain qualified through the season three official playoffs, like ladder, and Frankie qualified through the NBB. And we can see the table that they're in, Group B, um, after round one, not including Ratamo's win. But that was the state of the play after round one. So if Frankie wins the second game, he will in a very strong spot won't he um, in fact no he'll have qualified because Viking Cup has already lost so maxes out at 4 and if he beats Arzawain then Arzawain maxes out at 4 as well so yes if he if Frankie wins he qualifies so there you go they are the stakes and he is undead versus Imperial Nobility so there's a reasonable chance that happens <laughs> brilliant coaching and he gets a 4-3 roll very nice the problem that the Imperial Nobility and uh, and all the Alliance have is yes they get you know a bunch more TV to spend on the team a bunch more gold to spend on the team and they get a bunch more skills but they're still underneath it all they're a bad Blood Bowl team so they're definitely going to need a bit of luck as well no, well that's a bit of luck instant cast instant cars. and a stun not sure about that tuck in but fair enough I, again I kind of hate this guy's just stood there right like he went one so he's gonna go two three four five six seven if you want it right? I guess he wasn't gonna do that because of the lack of protection but like I'd rather have this guy like somewhere like here right so he's actually protecting him you can pick up and then move up behind him I really hate that like just call the ball oh well, instant cards from a mummy there we go lovely jubbly it's a rubbish lineman battered the ogre just going for the uh, mummies here seems okay, honestly. Because if, if undead lose a mummy, they're like rubbish humans. Which is pretty good, isn't it? So he's not blitzing with a mummy. I feel like blitzing with a mummy, with a mummy, with the ogre. I feel like blitzing with the ogre every turn is probably the right play, even though it doesn't have block. So, I mean, there is a strong argument to give him block because that is the right play most of the time, is to blitz with him. So I can understand Dimmy wanting to give block to the ogre, absolutely. Dimmy is, of course, the knob father. Oh, another failed pickup. Really tempted to get some uh, ghouls through now. Could just push this guy, right? And uh, get through. So if he blitz this guy, I'd have to pal him. But he could. Oh, well, not now, because he's uh, he stood up. Oh, I, I, would have, I would have rather, like, blitz with a mummy, right? And then. Um, and then you could go like one, two, three, and then this guy can come up, and then you could have pushed through with these two. But he's he's just not pushing through at all. He was just going for an easy, some easy damage, hopefully, and just being conservative. Nothing wrong with just uh, playing it safe. 
Like you've got to fancy yourself as the favourite here, right? As uh, Undead versus an ability. If you go for the ball, maybe you'll mess up and get scored on. Stupid ogre. Oh, we're going for a blitz on the mummy. We have a very dangerous push here as well. I'm almost certainly going to go for the uh, ogre, like blitzing the ogre now, right? Finally picks up the ball. Oh, realised he doesn't want to go forward because there's ghouls. And funny enough, if this guy was further forward, maybe he'd be like here this turn. And stopping this breakthrough. Which... Now we've decided to flood through, I guess, once, uh, once there's a stupid ogre and... Uh, a gaping hole. Mm. Super interesting. Four and three over here isn't good. Does get to hit the mummy. Well, <laughs> oh god, rush to get there. And has to reroll here because that's a rubbish lineman. Ogre completely reliant on the blockless block. Loner. You can be mine. And gets it. Glorious raid, thank you very much, Ben Bo Baggins. Absolute legend. Welcome, Ben Bo viewers, to exciting World Cup action. Well, World Championship, technically. Full power on the tackler. AV break here? No, that would have been massive to. Stop him just instantly smashing back. Gonna have to tag out the guards here. I'll kill them. Oh yeah, gets him down, good enough. Turn five. We could see some dice rolls here, couldn't we? And a bit of a play up. I mean, there's like a, there's a play out now. No real defense in the way. Or up here as well. I kind of preferred going up this way, further away. Yeah, that's where he goes. And relies on the dodge. Fails a three plus dodge. Sucks, doesn't it? Dodges with a ball carrier, loses. Unfortunately, I know what that feels like. I mean, however, his was a one in nine and not a one in thirty six. Goo picks it up. Tackler is out of the picture. So, no. Oh, did do the rush. Like, he had the reroll there. It kind of makes sense, right? Because if he doesn't do the rush, the tackler can blitz and base him. So, he'd rather just rush and not be based. Uh, but unfortunately, gets the run in 36. Oh, wait. Did he just. Did he just blockless block and fail? He just opened with the ochre. 
opened with a yoga, one in nine, fail, no safe moves, nothing, scows on the floor, could have moved down or something, just did nothing, instant, loner fail, one in nine, well that wasn't great play. This is uh, really safe for Frankie one two nine. Definitely million percent re-rolling that. <laughs> the three left. Looks like he's going to get the half-time lead. see some safe moves first? No. No, we won't. We'll just see an instant Ogre Blitz. <laughs> okay, why not? Why bother moving this guy down first? Oh, he's just he's just forgetting the ball. He's just... That's it. He's giving up. That's fair enough, right? It's fair enough. It's half is over. He's just going to punch things. Hope he can do something on offense to make it a 1-1 draw. Oh, is he going to foul the tackler? He is, he does the dodge. Oh no, he's fouling the guard. He'll do nothing. Just get to hit the mummy here, which is pretty good. That's mighty blow. Only a stun. Is he going to foul as well? Maybe. A dodge and a rush to foul with no rerolls. <laughs> Hopefully he kills the peasant. Oh, never lucky. Just bang it in, eh? There you go, knobs OP. End up 1-0 down after their offence. So, Frankie can uh, grind this one down and make it 2-0. Or he could score early, right? With being 1-0 up, if he scores early, he's definitely, uh, almost certainly won. So a lot of freedom on offence now for Frankie. Free chance and catches it. Oh, pushes the ogre but gets a second chance. Oh, I was going to say presumably because he could have three diced this guy, right? He could have just blitzed him with block and then three diced this guy. I was just thinking, as I said, he's got another chance. Like, mm, maybe it's better to just blitz with block. And then if you, you know, if you don't get the, uh, if you don't get the knockdown with block, at least you've got the follow up with the uh, mummy. And then you would have had the three D as well. Indeed, Dimmy. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like undead or better than than knobs, but who can say? Who can say if that's true or not? not gonna foul the ogre. Oh, it stays down. It's kind of tempting to foul the ogre, honestly, and then just, you know, then they've got nothing left, have they? You've got two mummies and they've got none. Oh. 
cheeky removal. Going for the 1D on the Ogre. Three plus one equals six, I love the lion. <laughs> Sorry I haven't been able to do that ninja have been I've been streaming so much and uh doing all the World Cup stuffs. Why foul him? Well because he's strength five, right? Uh, at the moment, like, how do that you see when you when you're playing the game you've got to think how does the opponent win, right? And the way that Arzawain wins this game is his ogre blitzes a mummy and cazzes it. And then the next turn, his ogre blitzes a mummy and cazzes it. And I'm not saying that's the only way you lose, <laughs> but that's almost the only way you lose, right? Like, you know, if you're elves playing All World Alliance, how do they beat you? Make six Kaz, right? That, that's a way you can lose. Um, so... You know, you've got to think, how can your opponents beat you and then try to stop them doing that. So there you go. Um, so yes, while fouling this ogre doesn't seem so good on the way he's performed, I feel like it's the only chance Arzawain really has is if he just, you know, blitzes with him, cars, blitz, cars, blitz, cars, blitz, cars, every single turn. And... Uh, <laughs> is it unlikely... Incredibly. Is there another way? I don't think so. So honestly, you know, as much as I didn't like the uh, block ogre, you know, that Dimmy loves, maybe maybe it is correct, because how else are you going to win? Get to the tackle on the ghoul. So there you go. I have six plus dodge, as Elmo, and uh, it was a it was a draw. But yeah, like that's it, right? Like that was the only way I could win. So a draw was the only way I could score. So that's what I went for. That's it. Like that's it. You've got to, you've got to play for the like you've got to play for the only ways you can win, and you've got to try and shut down the only way your opponents can win. Just the one D, just for just for a pow, really. Oh, the push wasn't particularly good there, but he gets the pow. That is pretty wild, and he's gonna rush, double rush to score, is he? And he's got two re rolls, so why not? Right, two and a lot of one. That was pretty rowdy, though. Whoa! Makes it. So yeah, 2 0 up, he's almost certainly won. Now the knobs have got to score in like 2 or 3. And then turn him over in 3 or 4. So it's doable. Especially with these two KOs that didn't recover. The big problem, and the touchback, the big problem, of course, that Arzwain has is he has an Imperial Ability team. Uh, which is quite a big handicap. But the uh, touchback was incredible, wasn't it? Touchback was actually incredible for him. He hasn't blitzed yet, has he? He should have. He should have probably just moved the ogre up to here, right? And then uh, blitzed with this guy if the ogre would have gone stupid. I think is probably better. But yeah, fair enough. Putting the ogre on the mummy's pretty strong. Hmm. 
bit of a screen. This is pretty difficult to screen though. Not with the free players. A pretty easy route to the end zone. Three cars. So he just blitzes the tackler and then he hits a dodge with dodge and two rushes. Right? Very simple. It's the full power. Needed not dub skulls. Oh, he's not going for the score this turn. Okay. That's okay, right? He's, he's got this free player to make a cage. I feel like I would have gone in that turn. And I know he failed the 1 in 9 dodge earlier. Oh, he's going to hand off. He's got catch, of course. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. That's just better. That's just better. I'm an idiot. Disregard, errata, errata. I forgot they had catch. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Easy. Easy touchdown there. So, there's a chance now for ours to win. Four turns to turn over Frankie. Will Frankie go to the second round? Not the second round, kickoff. Kick a big knockout stage. Knockout stage. They're not all peed in. They're so bad. They're so bad it hurts. Imperial mobility. Yuck. Frankie is down to one reroll now. Yeah, nine versus eleven. It's almost fair, isn't it? Horrendous. Horrendous, uh KO rolls. That's true to me, yeah. All of the lines are, are horrendous. Horrendous team. Laughably bad team, all of the lines are. Yep. Even worse than knobs. Yeah. I would say they're worse than knobs. Oh, I don't know, it's close though. At least, at least they've got something good, right? They've got a catcher. They've got a catcher and they've got a halfling. They've got two good things about them. But they're really bad, yeah, yeah, they're really bad. Oh, wow. Dub Skull's instant reroll. Also an instant blockless block. Was there a way to engineer a 2D against that with block? I mean, there, there no doubt was. Well, potentially if you've got that guy down. This is a bit tricky. Like, honestly, they can. it can be a little bit tricky versus knobs. Um... Whereas I feel the only chance all the Alliance have a lot of the time is dicing somebody. This is getting scary though, isn't it? Only nine players. There's a one in nine. Holy moly. Alright, this is getting very scary now. Very, very scary for Frankie. The cars, oh my god, what a dicing. What an absolute dicing for Frankie. Tragedy. Imagine getting diced by a rubbish team. I wouldn't be I wouldn't that wouldn't happen to me. I would uh I would definitely not get diced by one of the worst teams in the game. This was a bad decision from Frankie. To have so many horrendous dice this game. Oh god. There we go, 2D on the ball with tackle. Rolls the power anyway. Gets the AV break.
No, wow, I hate this. I hate this. Just put him in there and block him, right? It's weird. That's really weird. Just put him in there and block him. I think. No, one depowered. Okay, maybe maybe the rushes to go there were better. You rolled a three in the pickup as well, so maybe it was correct to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't judge it by the result of the dice, can you? But then this guy, if I had my way, I would have punched him up there, so he wouldn't have had this guy free. But he's not really helping much, is he? Two turns, you can get a lot of players to put pressure on here. Again, really not a fan of all these rushes. <laughs> Thanks, Jack Bolt. <laughs> oh, Jack Bolt, by the way, um, could I ask you to connect previous? leagues or something there was there was a thing i looked at it I, I looked at it on my phone though so i couldn't send you it i'll, I'll get the link on my uh, on my pc and i'll send you it uh, basically i wanted to look like um i looked at like franchise history and it only showed like you know seven two seven zero two and it said to see all of the history um your League manager has to connect everything. Oh wow, he threw it. He went to throw it, and he's thrown it up there. It went in the crowd, and then got thrown back in all that way. Oh my god, that is bonkers. Like he was completely cornered, right? He was completely cornered. And I don't know. You can see where he tried to pass it to. He did. He tried to do a long bomb. And he fumbled it, and it threw, went out, went all the way up there, like max scatter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like ten or eleven scatter, and then got it all the way up. What a genius! Thank you very much. I'll, I'll send you the I'll send you the link that I found it from. Oh, that what a crazy play that was. But Arzwin's got a chance now. He's got no rerolls though. And we've got the chain here to uh, clear it. Do knobs have a thrower? They do, but it's KO'd. And he fails the pick up anyway. And there you go, what a finish. Just running around undefended against four players, the ghoul at the end. Absolute banged out. Uh, not as badly as some people get banged out, but still quite banged out undead team. Somehow gets the win. Um, I think the sum of the somehow is that uh, Imperial Ability suck. But there you go, and undead are pretty good. And uh, there is the table. As you can see, Frankie has definitely qualified because... Um, and he's very likely in first, I guess. Very likely in first. Yeah. Yeah, very likely in first. A draw will, will like, um, Ratamol would have to win and Frankie lose. And Ratamol would have to, like, score three touchdowns. So it's pretty much, uh, it's looking pretty good for Frankie to be, uh, topping the group. So there you go. Congrats to him. And, uh, Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.